Hi, this is just a short video to explain how online ukulele tuition works. I've always done a bit of teaching over the years, but particularly since the pandemic struck, I've been doing quite a lot, partly because I have more time available on my hands to do it, and also because people are turning to their instruments more for a pastime while uh, other activities are not possible. So uh, every time someone inquires about lessons, I have to explain how the procedure works, and I thought it would be a good idea just to make a little video giving you the answers. So first of all we choose a date and time of course that suits us both, bearing in mind the time zones we're in because this works just as well internationally as locally, that's the beauty of online teaching. Uh, most of the lessons I do are 30 minutes or 45. A lot of people who like a weekly lesson have half an hour and if it's going to be a little less frequent perhaps 45 minutes is best. Sometimes I start a student off on 45 minutes a week and then we switch down to 30 once they get in their stride. Anyway, you have a choice. It's a good idea just to allow a little bit of extra time at the end of the scheduled session in case we have any connection problems. Uh, it doesn't normally happen, but it's good to have a bit of extra time in hand just in case. A couple of days before the lesson is due to happen, you have to send me two things. Firstly, the payment, of course, so that I know we're committed to doing the lesson. And secondly, the music that you want to look at. Now, this could be a chord sheet or a piece of sheet music, or it could be just a recording or a link to a video of a song. As long as I have something to have a look at, uh, so I know what we're going to work on, I can familiarise myself with it, and that saves us a bit of time during the lesson itself. Just before the lesson is due to start, I'll send you a Zoom link so that you can get into the Zoom meeting with me for the lesson. We don't have to use Zoom, I can use other platforms if required, but a lot of people favour Zoom, it tends to work very, very well. Uh, there is one important setting that you have to make, go into your Zoom settings and click Enable Original Sound. Uh, if you don't do that, you're on a default setting whereby it tries to cancel out everything that's not speech. It's designed to eliminate anything it recognises as not being the human voice, which is not very helpful if you're playing instruments. So click on Enable Original Sound. The other thing, of course, is you have to get the best internet connection you can. That helps a lot. If you're on broadband, try and avoid having anyone else using it at the same time. For instance, if they're watching videos in another room or you're uploading all your files to the cloud, that's going to take up a lot of bandwidth and spoil the connection. Uh, if you're on your mobile phone signal, try and get in position where you get the best signal. That will help a lot. The lesson itself is very much like a standard face-to-face -face instrumental lesson. You play to me, I'll comment, analyse, play back to you, demonstrate how you might improve what you're doing. We'll talk about musicality, we'll talk about aspects of technique, and we'll try to improve the way you're playing. I'll make notes throughout the lesson, give you feedback, and uh, it works very, very well. The one thing we can't do on the internet, of course, is play together because of the time lag. It doesn't matter what system you use, that signal's got to get to the satellite and back and it's not going to happen. Uh, that's the laws of physics. We can't play together in sync. But anything else we can do that we would do in a normal face-to-face -face lesson. Right at the end of the lesson, of course, the last thing we'll do is schedule the next session. It doesn't have to be a weekly or even monthly commitment. You might just want to do a lesson once in a while when you feel like it. That's fine. There's no commitment necessary, but we need to discuss it and plan that. Now we come to the lesson report, and this is a very important aspect of my system of teaching online, and one I feel that makes it successful. At the end of the lesson, before I do anything else, before I even leave my seat, I'll look at the notes I made during the lesson and I will make and send you a personal video based on that lesson. Now this will recap the main points we discussed to remind you and it will tell you uh, what you need to practice and how to practice it. I will demonstrate the things you need to work on. And this is great because lesson by lesson you will build up a personal series of tuition videos tailored to you and what you're working on.
So there you have it, that's how the system works, it's pretty straightforward. Just drop me a line if you want to know current prices and time availability and uh, I'll get back to you ASAP. The email address is tuition at andyeastwood.com.